So let's have some fun today and look at Affinity Publisher and using it to create low content books. If you don't know what a low content book is, think notebook, something with just lined pages, 25 lines to a page, or even a blank book like I purchased the other day that has blank pages for outlining comics in. Now printing low content books with KDP is great for passive income. Less than a day to publish your first low content book. So what are low content books? Travel journals, guest books, diaries, daily planners. They're the simplest to create because they contain nothing by page after page of blank lines. Line journals. And how often have you needed one of those when you want to make notes and you can't get to the store? So, passive income. Now this is where they do come into themselves. If you consider yourself a digital nomad or would like to be one, that is being able to work from anywhere. You can generate passive income with these. Very easy to produce, quick to produce and Affinity Publisher lend themselves to this idea perfectly. From idea to sales in just a few days because they're quick to produce. You don't need a website nor email lists. Forget all that. Very little or no upfront costs. Affinity Publisher is really quite cheap and it's on sale at the moment. There's very little else. There's no marketing and no inventory. Now mind you, low content journals are not get rich quick bestsellers. They're not meant to me. They do generate passive income that you can build on as your list grows. Now I'll show you how. A list, a list of different types of notebooks. Think notebooks. Now what you'll learn in this tutorial, the step-by-step -step process of developing your first low content publication using Affinity Publisher. Developing your book cover specific to your idea and using Affinity Publisher. The easiest steps to take to be published on KDP. They couldn't make it easier. Forget about ebooks, we're not doing ebooks, we're doing low content printed books. Too easy. So let's get started creating our first simple low content book. So open Affinity Publisher. We're going to start very simply with a 6x9 portrait style page right from the presets list. Now mind you we're getting started pretty quickly on this because I just want to show you how. You can get all fancy and do other formats later. So go right ahead, create your own preset. I'm sure you know how to do that by now. If not, it's very easy. Put in the following measurements, 6x9, 300 dpi, 120 pages default master, select facing pages. Your margins are 0.75 for the inner margin, right? and 0.5 for the other three, the outer three, outer and bottom and top. Now the bleed is 0.125 inches. You can turn these off for previewing but as you're exporting a PDF file KDP will require bleed to be on. So put it on here but just turn it off when you're previewing. That's quite important. If you don't have bleeds, KDP will reject it. Now we have the new blank document and here we have master A page and the required number of pages scrolling down there below the master page panel. And don't worry, you can always add or remove pages from the project as you need. But there's a reason we've got 120 pages in this one. Let's set up the master. This is master A. You probably really don't need a master even, but I find it comes in handy because you can use it pretty much as a template for later on. So here we're going to add the ruled lines. Select the master page. Next, draw a series of ruled lines across the page. Each line or stroke goes from margin to margin and is 0.5 points in width. So you can see it up there where you've set the stroke width 
and it's a grey, greyish coloured line. Don't do black, it's too heavy. Um, well, you can if you like. You can do pink, purple, green, whatever you like. But I prefer a light grey for lines to follow. Now the first line is your margin, top of your margin. So you should put your first line at 0.5 of an inch and then they're 0 0.3333 3, below that. Let's have a look at that. Select the pen tool. Click on the screen for the first node and move the cursor to where you want the line to end which is on the right margin. Hold the shift key down and click to make a straight line. Press escape to deselect the end node. You can adjust the stroke width and colour to suit but you've probably already got that done. Now that's, don't be confused by that. Move the cursor where you want to end the line Click on the or click on the screen for the first node. That's the left hand side. Just click on there. Then move the cursor to where you want the line to end. Don't drag out a line. Just move the cursor where you want it to end. Hold the shift key down and then click and the line will draw straight. Doesn't matter if you're not accurately in the right position. Affinity will draw the line for you directly across the page. Just practice with that. It's very easy. Now, add lines to the master page. Add 25 lines, margin to margin, then create a group for the lines. There's 25 on each page of the master. The top starts at 0.5 inch and the last is at 8.5 inch. So each line is point, recurring threes there, of an inch apart. You can use the guides manager, manager to add guides to follow or do two or three and cut and paste. It's a bit of a mission. Get out your calculator and add point three 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 to the first line. You've got a point five of an inch, and then just add that point three of an inch onto them until you get to the bottom, and you've got twenty five lines. Now, page one is your inner title page. You've got your master set up. We're now going to modify page one. You can see the lines on page one and you've got a title page over it. Don't panic. We'll fix this later. On page one, we only want something to act as a title page. We don't want lines on that page. Well, you can put them there if you like, but any good book has a, bla a sort of a, a black and white, if you like, title page as the first page doesn't hurt to put it there, keeps you reminded of what you've got. As we don't want any lines on that page, then when you have the title in place, or before if you like, right click the page in the vertical column here, Master Pages and Pages, right click on the page you're working on, and clear the master that is applied to that page. So right click on page one, you can see it there, highlighted, and right click clear masters and it will remove the lines from that page. Okay, with the master cleared from the page the rule lines no longer show. You now have a nice clear title page. This journal belongs to or whatever you've got there. That horizontal line by the way is a horizontal line drawn out from the margins on the left hand side. All other pages have the rule lines on them and that's just what you want. Can you believe it? We are nearly ready to export the body of our low content book. And it is low content, there's nothing in it but lines. But we'll leave it for a moment while we do the cover. And for that we need a separate file. When you're happy with your book content, you can export just to backtrack a little bit there. For preview, turn off bleed. Turn it back on for export to KDP. Everything else there is quite right. So if you want to set your page up ready for uploading to KDP, you can actually export it now. I've got preview turned on, but all you're previewing is pages of ruled lines. So you can probably not preview export when complete. Just tick include bleed 
and export PDF for print and 300 DPI. Don't forget all pages, not spreads. KDP doesn't want to know about spreads. So you have to export all pages. And that'll put them in a nice big PDF file that you can upload in a bit. Okay, the cover. Making the cover of our low content book. First, you want to decide on a title for your book. And this is what appears on the front cover of your book. The same on the outside as that first page you just created on the inside. Make sure you make them both the same. Don't confuse people. Don't worry too much about it at this stage. This is your first test book. But of course, don't call it test book. Just to follow the process. And it's show you how really easy it is. The next thing is to find some nice imagery for the cover. Make sure it's free to use. You don't want to break anybody's copyright. So download the imagery, then go to KDP and download the correct cover template. Go to this web address. Now, this is the cover template I'm using and you, call, you adjust that on that page, Amazon Comms cover templates. When you get there, enter trim size 6x9, page count 200, Yes, I know, 200, we've only got 120 in the book, that's fine. Paper colour is white, and download. And next, open your cover template in Affinity Publisher. <coughs> Excuse me, right click on the PDF file that downloads, not the PNG file. Right click on the PDF and open it in Affinity Publisher. And you will have your perfect template. Now I've decided to name this journal My Travel Journal. This will be the title on the front cover as well as the inside. Now open the downloaded PDF in Affinity Publisher and that's what it looks like. And you can see the, the detail there. It's very, it's very detailed. Spine width, white paper, 6x9 book. The spine width they've already calculated for you based on having 200 pages. Now the black dotted line is the trim size. That's where your book will be cut to produce the final trim size. So anything outside that line won't get printed. The blue dotted line, which is really difficult to see, is the spine fold. Fold placement may vary slightly, so anything within there will get printed if it's in the white area. And the white area is the live area. Anything in the white area will be printed. The red area is out of live and out of bleed, so or it's the bleed area if you like. Anything in that red, those red bands around there will be trimmed off, will not be printed. Now, just read that carefully and ignore too many warnings because we want this to go quickly. KDB template is open in Affinity Publisher. Now change the template size to inches. It's in, for some obscure reason, my publisher opens everything in points. I want it in inches for this. So you just go to document setup um, and change the documents units to inches. Uh, the DPI is 300. Embedded images, much better. You don't want linked images if you're sending to a publisher. Now, add a layer over the top of this existing template. I've just added a layer there. Or you can just drag out a white background. But just for mm, purity, you might say, I add a layer. It doesn't hurt to have it there. Now let's have a look at the template. We firstly have a layer positioned over the top now. On that layer, we need to put the title. You don't need a subtitle. This is a low content book, remember. Drag out a white rectangle to cover the entire cover, right up to the bleed lines. Reduce the opacity to about 80%. So you can see the template beneath it. Now you can see there I've got a I've got a, a white rectangle, but I've reduced the transparency 
about well that's more than 80 percent it's probably about 50 percent i think now you can see through it you need to be able to see through it to know where you're placing your material we'll bring the um, opacity back up later before you print it obviously now add a picture frame you can see the three layers now sitting above the template layer one rectangle and picture frame I'm going to put a texture layer over the whole cover spread to simulate old paper stock and the picture frame is corner to corner now there's the paper texture applied to the entire cover and of course you can't see anything so reduce its opacity to about 50 to 80 percent and again I think I'm down to about 50 percent mm, it's not showing there but it is and there it is opacity 50 percent there you go and you can still see everything through it now you can see right down the right hand side there the blue line from the bounding box and there's a little bit of white there doesn't matter because that's going to be cut off Now I can still see what I'm doing and I can still see what's happening in there. Now we're looking better. This is the title image. I want to put something travel related on the front cover. Something people will be attracted to. A nice travel poster that I'll simplify. I only want my travel journal on the cover. Not travel around the world and the other Ipsum Laura text there. Just my travel journal. So let's see how we accomplish that eventually. Again, the image is dragged out to the bleed edge. There isn't anything important in that area that can't be cut out. So if you look at that image, that cover image, it goes right up to the bleed edge, but there's nothing in there. There's no text, there's no numbers, there's no volumes, there's no dates, there's nothing in there. So when the printers trim that off with the guillotine, bang, it can go. It doesn't matter. And you won't end up with white borders around your document. Now add the actual title, the spine title, and the back cover matter. And let's see what we end up with. There's my travel journal, nicely placed in the top there. Opacity reduced, centered on page, artistic text, and the font is Paytone 1. Text is well inside the boundaries, and you can see the faint uh, impression of the red boundaries underneath that and the white rectangle for ISBN which is supplied by KDP I'm going to put a white rectangle in there you can see where the barcode goes that'll be the ISBN and when we go to publish have KDP supply one because this will only be distributed on on um, Amazon you only need an Amazon ISBN simple as that and they're free bonus okay now we're looking better there's my travel journal, front cover name, spine title, and I've, and I've got it that way there so you can read it if it's standing up on end, or you can have it uh, flat if you like, you can, you can do what you like with that so long as it's within the printable area. Now my cover on the left hand side there is slightly overlapping or right up to, if you like, the fold margin. That's alright when it's folded it will be right on that margin perhaps even a little over the edge on the bottom left hand side I've got copyright and contact places a web page and a YouTube page just a little bit of promotion self promotion there and I've got a white rectangle which KDP will put their barcode or ISB in don't just leave it dark put a white rectangle in there exactly the right size there we go looking better all the time you can't see anything underneath it but you can see the bleed lines and right around the edge is the bleed lines doesn't matter if any of that's cut off and that's what the cover of your book will look like the inside of course is <laughs> lines and lots of them this is the final cover that will be uploaded to KDP, ready for printing. Okay, next step. Publish. 
This is the exciting bit. How long has it taken you to do that cover on the inside? Oh, an hour or so the first time round. If you haven't already, head over to KDB to create your account. And once you've done that, you can begin publishing. The first thing that happens when you log in, and up comes the, the page, it says, do you want to create a new title in Kindles or paperbacks? Well, we want paperbacks. Pretty pointless putting the logbook in Kindle because you can't write in it. Log into your account and select paperback book details. And the mandatory fields are as follows. These are really the only fields you need to worry about. There are a couple of others that come through, but you don't need to worry about them and they're self-explanatory. Book title. Obviously, you need a book title and that's the one you've already decided on. The author, your own name or a pen name. Description. Now, have a fairly good description because you've got to try and attract potential customers to your book. There's a lot of people out there doing this, but that's all right. Some of them will buy some of your books. They won't all buy everybody else's books. And over a period of time, if your list of books builds, you will do better each time. So make sure the description is something interesting. Publishing rights, check I own the copyright and I hold all the necessary publishing rights. This is your book and you own all the rights. The categories, you can choose up to two categories that you think will help customers find your book. Now, I put my travel journal, so obviously I'm going to position this in travel and I don't know, something else, trains maybe, people go on trains and they want to keep, they travel on trains, so they, maybe they want to keep a travel journal. Adult content? Check no. Unless, of course, your book does contain adult content. And that's a minefield. So, mm. my recommendation? Avoid adult content like the plague. Anything controversial, avoid it like the plague because you'll spend years arguing with Amazon over why you they should let you publish it. Just check no and don't put any of that stuff in there. Now, adding keywords is optional, but really necessary, um, and it's something you should do. It's one of the most important ways for your book to gain visibility. So use all seven slots. Yeah, it's the only given seven, so make sure they're good keywords. KDP does have rules surrounding use of keywords, so be sure to read them. You'll find them in your account here. That's the address for the topic of how to use keywords. Again, don't spend too long on it, because the use of keywords, like a lot of other rules, it's fairly self-evident. When you have everything entered, hit save and continue. Now, paperback content. Remember, for PDF, you must enter yes for bleed, and I've put that up there very noticeable, because you can click on print ISBN, you click there, get a free KDP ISBN. The print options. Interior and paper type, black and white interior with white paper. Trim size, 6x9. Bleed settings, the default appears to be no bleed, but you don't want no bleed. And I, and I put it there to arrest your attention. You actually want to tick on the box that's to the right a little bit that says bleed, because yes. And there's a warning there, if this is going up as a printed book, you must have bleed. The paperback cover finish is matte. If you have gloss, they fold. When they heat up or cool down, the cover folds up and there's nothing more annoying with a book that's sitting on a tabletop somewhere with its front cover curled over like a drying leaf in the sun. Use matte. Now, manuscript. Upload the line journal, my travel journal PDF that you previously created. That's, where you, that's the section where you upload the manual, the, the content, sorry. Now the book cover, upload the PDF of your book cover. That's all prepared. You've got them both in a little folder that says, my first book. <laughs> upload the line journal, then upload the cover. Click on book previewer. Click launch previewer to launch a digital preview of your book. Now give this time to work. It does take a little bit of time, even for a small book. Remember, this is not just processing your book. 
This is processing thousands of books at the same time. Everyone around the world is sending books in, so their system gets pretty busy. Just give it time. Sit back, enjoy a gin and tonic, and wait for the previewer to finish. When all is done and you're happy with it, and everything says, yes, you've uploaded successfully, save and continue. Now the rights and pricing. Territories. Click all territories. Worldwide rights, unless otherwise. You want to sell this thing everywhere. Pricing and royalty. Choose a reasonable price based on what others are priced at. You can always change it later. I think I put in six ninety nine, which sounds reasonable, and that's about what I paid for the <laughs> the book of blank pages I bought a month ago. Expanded distribution. Check this if you would like to make your book available to bookstores, online retailers, etc. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but you can do that if you like. Other marketplaces? Leave the preset amounts. Don't fiddle with the prices there, especially the first time round. You can get really confused with that. Terms and conditions? Click to confirm, yes. And then click publish your paperback book. Congratulations, that's exactly what you've done. That's how easy it is. Now, things to note. In the print options, you can see I'm banging on about bleed again. There's your options, no bleed or bleed PDF. And if you're sending a PDF to print, then you have to have bleed. It'll be rejected otherwise. Now, upload the paperback manuscript, top right hand side there, and upload the cover. You can see manuscript and my travel line journal PDF is uploaded successfully and it's green and it's got a tick because it's processed. When you first uploaded there'll be a, a little bit of text there saying processing. Just as I said sit back with the gin and tonic and wait till it's finished processing. You wait for these to complete and process before you move on. When it's all finished and you've um, checked your preview and clicked everything's okay, proceed, up will come your paperback has been submitted because it goes in for review. And that tells you there, that's my travel journal, five pounds and four P in English money. Don't worry about start your ebook now because obviously. It's useless as an e-book. You can't write on an e-book. <laughs> well, you could, but it's not going to be very permanent, is it? Okay, next step is the last one. Come back the next day, because it does take a little while. Or you can come back later that afternoon, come back tonight. In the store and in review. Discounting the initial publisher setup, which really took only about an hour, the KDP part, KDP part was about 10 minutes. A more complex book might take a little longer if you're going to put some really fancy design on the cover and maybe fancy designs inside the book itself. But remember, it's low content. People aren't after seeing your artwork. They want something to write in, generally. Maybe two hours to produce the whole thing. But remember, these are profitable, low content books you can write now. Now when you look in your, your um, KDP account and you'll see your list of books right at the top, if this is the last one you've done, will be the book that you've just created. And it'll say paperback in review. And you can see last modified on March the 23rd, which was yesterday, my time. I don't know whereabouts in the world you are, so it'll be a different time. But it's just been done. And that's all there is to it. It's really that simple. Use Affinity Publisher and make yourself a little bit of coffee money on the side. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.